right now, scientists from all over the world are here in Long Beach for the National Earthquake Convention. And today they made a serious announcement that could affect all of Southern California. California is the number one place to enjoy the beach and have a great time. But underneath the surface, there's a fault line that scientists say is a ticking time bomb that could go off any time. The San Andreas Fault is roughly the length of about 810 miles that goes along the west coast of California. This line starts from Mendocino County, which is in the north, and runs all the way to the California Coastal Range in the south. This fault has been present ever since before the people there decided to settle in that area, but even then people decided to form a civilization and built the greatest cities over there like Los Angeles. This fault is rather tricky, but even then people decided to settle there ignoring the earthquakes that have happened before. This fault is highly unpredictable with years passing without any kind of issues, and the fault in the ground usually vanishes without a trace due to erosion, with just a small harmless dent in the ground. But things can go very wrong if the gap for some reason opens up. The San Andreas Fault Line is not just a single line that is 810 miles long. It has a different range of sections in different places, and each section has its own, different kind of activities that never cease to stop. Scientists came up with a chilling prediction that the fault line will cause an earthquake that will be a 7.8 magnitude shock. A magnitude of this size means that this won't be just a minor shake inside the ground, but will cause mass destruction. This earthquake has the potential to shake San Andreas, which will cause a destructive force that the earthquake will cause. Damage like that will have long-term consequences, like aftershocks being felt for the later years, if not months to come. There are three possible segments in this fault line. It starts with the northern segment of the San Andreas that starts from the city of Hollister through the picturesque Santa Cruz Mountains. This section was responsible for the famous 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake that caused some noticeable damage. This was also the same region that was first identified by Professor Andrew Lawson back in 1895, and the region where we started to begin to understand the fault's huge destructive potential. Then there's the central segment, this line goes in a northwest direction that runs from Parkfield to Hollister. What sets this part apart is its geological phenomenon called the aseismic creep, and this creep is a bit different. Unlike other segments, where stress builds up and releases in the form of earthquakes, this part is constantly moving at a slow and steady pace and plays a huge role in relieving stress along the fault. This is a good thing because this way the risk of larger, more destructive earthquakes is reduced. Finally, there's the southern segment of the fault, which is usually called the Mojave segment. This segment starts off near Bombay Beach in California and is known for its huge potential to cause some of the biggest and most devastating earthquakes. This region is the most active in California and has a huge potential for seismic events that is a cause for concern to the scientists and the locals alike and understanding this segment is a must to minimize the risk in this region. Scientists at NASA have made another shocking discovery that might cause some of the most disastrous events ever. These scientists have found some massive fissures along the San Andreas Fault that span many miles with a size huge enough to cause some concerns. The sole existence of this massive crack tells us there's a potential for geological activity and the huge consequences it will bring. This crack raises concern about the natural flow of water in the area since it runs really close to the coast. Any kind of disturbance or alteration of the fault could disrupt the regular course of rivers and streams, which could lead to issues like flooding. Being so close to the coastline makes things much worse because the coastal region will go through a rise in sea level or even cause tsunamis, which is really bad news for the low-lying coastal communities, 
while the flood that this crack can cause will be record-breaking. Because of its close proximity to the fault, San Andreas is at a huge risk, especially in the southern portion called the Mojave Segment. This is the region where the strongest earthquake can occur and cause devastation. Some of the most densely populated cities like Los Angeles, San Bernardino, Riverside, and its surrounding areas are extremely vulnerable to these major earthquakes. The outcome of this earthquake is severe with the loss of thousands of lives but this will also affect the economy at a whole new level. The Earth will bring with it destruction, and that destruction will cause damage to infrastructure, buildings, and properties. The estimated cost of this could be hundreds of billions of dollars in damage. This massive burden to the state will have a long-lasting effect on the economy of the region. As a result, the Southern California region finds itself in a precarious situation, where this natural disaster has a risk of taking many lives and risking the economic well-being of the region. What lies under the San Andreas Fault are tectonic plate boundaries. This boundary is where the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate meet. And while these plates are constantly moving, they sometimes lock up against each other due to friction and other forces. When this happens, there's stress along the fault line as the plates keep moving, but the locks can't move, so they can't release any kind of energy. Even though these stress levels are completely natural and totally normal, it becomes a huge threat to us when these stress levels reach a critical point. And when the stress that's been accumulating over time gets more than the forces holding the plates in place, huge amounts of energy are suddenly released which causes these earthquakes. In the case of the San Andreas Fault, Experts have been closely monitoring the situation, especially in the Southern Mojave segment, and these scientists, including Thomas Jordan, who is the director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, have warned us about the devastation that is to come. They say this stress that's been accumulated up till now could trigger a powerful earthquake, but they aren't sure exactly when this might happen. When an earthquake of huge magnitude usually occurs, its seismic impact extends much further than its origin point. One release of pressure usually has a chain reaction to the nearby plates and influences their movements too. This is known as seismic coupling. This shift in the crust of the east has the potential to not only affect San Andreas, but will have a dire effect on a global scale. This is because this shift can trigger massive seismic activity along other fault lines or tectonic plate boundaries across the world. This interconnectedness of tectonic activity is the reason why this earthquake won't just end with San Andreas, but will also send ripples throughout the world. The number one question that people have is whether or not the government is prepared for this massive earthquake and whether they have come up with well-thought-out plans and strategies to counter or at least minimize the measures. Then there's the concern of whether or not there are enough resources present for the government to utilize and be able to handle the aftermath of the earthquakes, which includes not only immediate responses, but also long-term recovery efforts. One of the most challenging issues the government will have to face is dealing with the widespread destruction of infrastructure. This could be anything from repairing roads to rebuilding bridges and giant buildings. What are your thoughts on the San Andreas Fault? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be always updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.